So we're here in the garage. This is a Go Ruck Rucker. Inside this pack, there's about 30, 30 pounds? 30 pounds of weight. Friend of a friend of a friend. I actually get a 34.5 pound piece of metal that's cut out, machined very nicely, but it's raw metal, raw steel. And I just, he just gave it to me this morning and this thing is already starting to rust. So we'll be making a quick run to Home Depot to get some primer. I'm gonna give this guy two coats and probably throw some Plasti Dip on there. It's the first time I've uh, played around with that product, but I was just thinking about it. I mean, if it's good enough for Wrangler rims, it's gotta be good enough uh, for this. It's gonna sit inside this pack and it's gonna allow me, this is more of a, uh, mainly for fitness. So it, um, I'll get into that a little bit later, but that's the project for today. So I got back home and I actually had some primer. So that is a good thing. So let me get these things out here so you guys can see everything. So here's the deal guys. This is what the pack looks like with 30 pounds of weights that I have in there. And it's going to be a much better situation once I get the metal plate painted. Pretty desperate to get this to work. Primers on. It's probably dry to the touch right now, but I'll give it an extra 15 minutes just to be safe. So rucking with this thing wasn't so graceful before. I'm hoping it will uh, be a better situation with this steel plate. Just putting it on the backpack. Not terribly, not terribly graceful. The pack itself is excellent, um, but it was just the way that the plates are, they're kind of, kind of unwieldy on your back. So with the actual steel plate, it's just much more even. See how it goes. So any questions, let me know. Thanks.